I don't know if people realize, but we spend quite a lot of money here, over $300 million every year just on aid. Um, so I would say there's just so many sectors. I'll tell you one thing. One, I am really interested in making sure um, that the thing that we can do is to help the Malian government and help the Malian people create some jobs. Because I know you guys all worry. Mali is very worried about security. Mali is very worried, as it should be, about how to secure the nation. And I want to also come at it from a little bit of a perspective of let's create some jobs. Let's get people um, uh, the ability to live a life that is worth living. And let's help them get those services. And I think that's how we change the security situation also. But how do you respond to those Malian critics who think that the U.S. is not doing enough to help them fight against extremism? We've been here for 62 plus years and we have invested in all sectors in Mali. So I don't know why that perception is there. Um, and I do think that the uh, for the longest time, we were here training, we were here helping the Malian government in all senses possible. And uh, once there is a transition, I, I believe we have a chance to come back and, and do some security cooperation as well. But it will not be, it cannot be at the levels that I think um, uh, that you've had other partners here. It's going to be U.S. is a different type of a partner, but believe me, everything that we do is for the Malian people. And I think we want to make sure that there are various parts of what we bring to the table. They may not directly be security related, but they help in advance security. And oh, we know right now Russia and China influence is really growing in uh, West Africa. So I know you are a new ambassador. So you and along with the U.S., do you have any specific plan or agenda how to counter those influence when we know sometimes it is not really beneficial for West Africans, especially the Malians? I do believe that uh, China comes in, takes advantage of the natural resources of a country and then moves on or leaves them in such high debt that cannot recover. Um, I got to watch this up close and personal as I was living in Sri Lanka for a few years. And um, that country, as you know, is going through a lot of uh, difficulties at the moment. I do believe part of the problem, big part of the problem there is Chinese debt. So I'm really hoping that, uh, that the um, West African countries are recognizing that, are seeing it in other places, and are not going to let that happen in, in, uh, in the region here. And I hope Mali is also understanding that. As far as is Russia is concerned, I'll be very clear. I think uh, Russian presence, I understand that Mali has had a long relationship with Russia. And in some senses, there was a lot of back and forth in terms of education and culture and many other things. I realize that um, Malians will say that you didn't have a choice in the partner that you're choosing. But I would say that um, this current partner will not be good for Mali. And uh, it, I would say, based on what they've done in other places, they are, they are going to take advantage. Um, and uh, I, I hope that uh, they will leave Mali in a situation that Mali can continue to recover.